Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do something very different. So some of you might already know, my mom is an oil artist and I have not painted my entire life. Uh, just the last five years basically, whenever I started my YouTube channel, that's when I started to paint with watercolors and not even oils. Like my mom is an oil artist, but I never wanted to paint in general. And it was such a random thing when I started to paint. So ever since I started my YouTube channel, my mom has been giving me a lot of criticism, uh, constructive criticism, but also advices. And she's the one that pushed me uh, to learn color wheel, how to use color wheel, how to create natural looking shadows, and just the general idea. One of the things she mentioned to me and and she's told me is that first of all even if you ruin a painting even if you don't like it first of all leave it on the side don't look at it for a couple of days come back to it and then with fresh eyes you'll see your painting again so that was one thing and then the thing is when I come back to that painting and I still don't like it this is what she said to do and I really love this idea and I think it really helps. She said, this will help you to build your confidence as an artist. Any artist, everybody has some paintings that just went into the trash bin, right? The idea is to not trash your paintings, but to do something out of them. So I have these scissors here and this is what we're going to do. First of all, I'm going to show you some of my paintings that uh, you have never seen. So these are some of the flowers. They just completely didn't work out. So I have these uh, bells here on the uh, right side and that's fine. It's just the background didn't work out and somehow I just lost my motivation from the start. This cat I absolutely hate. It looks like a monster cat, but I'm going to do something out of it. This is a painting that didn't work out. I kind of just lost the feel of it too and I was trying to do this too fast and I was rushing through and it's just I wasn't connected with it and I messed up the background and, and then I just was not motivated to finish it. I actually did two of these. So one of them didn't work out. This is the one that made it into a tutorial on Patreon. This one is the one that didn't make it. So I'm just going to do something out of it because um, here I didn't like the flowers, how the flowers turned out. Disaster. It's just, just nothing about this rose that's interesting to me. This starfish, I like it overall and the water worked out. The problem was the starfish. I tried to scrub the bottom part so my shadow didn't work out and then I tried to wipe it. I ended up repainting it but I didn't add the starfish this time so this was my redo. What happened here I don't even remember. I was trying to create like this foggy feel and the sky has like hard edges it's just not what i do today i like the contrast and i like the idea of it but it just it didn't work out somewhat like i don't like what i did here the bird is just kind of overworked in the area here so i do like couple areas but it's just i didn't want to put it into a tutorial now this painting not my favorite either I just lost the feel of it and it didn't work out. This is one of my first paintings when I was uh, working on a white object. So you finished the painting, uh, you didn't like it, you put it on the side, you waited two, three days, uh, and then you're looking at it again, you don't like it, that's okay. So now we're gonna take the scissors, we're gonna choose an area on the painting that we like. So what area do I really like here uh, that's kind of worked out? I think I still like how these flowers worked out. And my mom said, take that painting, cut the area that you like and frame it. This will help you to build that confidence as an artist. So throw away the rest of it that didn't work out, that you don't like, keep that one section that's pretty, that you like it and you're proud of it. So this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm going to pick this little area here. And that's it. This is the painting that I'm going to keep and I'm going to frame it. So let's do the same thing with the other paintings.
thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate your support and i hope you uh, enjoyed this video i hope it helped you and yeah just please don't throw away the painting at least use the scissors and cut the piece that you like the most frame it and i promise you this will help your confidence as an artist and this will help you to grow you will always just see that one piece that masterpiece